I recently got this comment on my video I did about routing and busing in Ableton, and they asked, hey Mark, how do you do the pre-master routing and busing in Ableton or creating that pre-master channel? This is super useful because if I look at my track here, this is my track, she got a dump truck, and this is very, very useful for A-B testing because if I have my master chain on my master channel, well, when I tried to, let's say, listen to another song in Ableton, it's going to try to master both of them, if that makes sense. So if you look at a lot of producers, their master channel usually looks like this, but they have the pre-master right here. Now, here's how you do it. Now, first off, I might as well play you the song. I know some shameless self-promotion. This is how it sounds, though. So that's how it sounds. Now, the first thing you're gonna do when it comes to routing and busing, especially for the pre-master channel, is first you need individual channels. As you can see, in this case, I only have three. So I have drums, synths, percussion, and effects. Sometimes I have four or five. Sometimes, in this case, just three. It really depends track by track. The biggest thing, first off, you wanna make sure every single element in your song, every single one, is being sent to one of these chains. Whether you have two, three, four, five, six, whatever the case is, unless it's that song that you're using for A-B testing, make sure all of your elements are being sent to one of your main channels. Then this is how you set up the pre-master channel. Ableton makes this incredibly annoying and frustrating and I do not know why they do this. But first thing you wanna do is create a new channel. So as you can see, I have these three in the beginning. Once I'm getting ready to go to my mixing and mastering stage, I create the pre-master channel. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull each one of these up. So as you can see, like so. Next thing I'm gonna do is right here, as you can see, I have sends only. So typically this will say master. I'm gonna go down and hit sends only. So I wanna make sure all of these say sends only, as you can see here. Next thing is I am now gonna send it to D. So I'm gonna do this, actually. I'm gonna single send. I don't know why Ableton does this, but typically all your sends here are enabled, right? I can do this, no problem. For some reason, I don't know why when it comes to these return tracks, if I'm gonna send this to pre-master, for example, it's actually not being sent because you can see it's still gray. I don't know why, but Ableton by default automatically disables these in the beginning. So you actually have to not only turn it up or basically send the full channel to the pre-master channel, I also have to go to enable send and it'll turn that color. So now as you can see here, I have these three, all of them being sent, all of them being sent full on to the pre-master channel and they're all enabled as you can see here. A good way to test this as well is look at the colors. So if I play this again, you'll see here, these are all purple. So essentially what's happening is all my elements in my track are being sent to these three channels. Then these three channels are being sent to the pre-master. That means if I do this and I mute the pre-master, you're not hearing anything because everything is being sent like this. Then almost like a bottleneck in a sense. So it's all being sent to the pre-master and then I'll put on my master chain. As you can see, this is the master chain I have on this particular song. So I have like a, uh, I have a multiband compressor just for like the low end, some EQing, OTT, uh, light, light saturator. And then lastly, the Pro L2 for some maximization and some limiting.